All right, look, I'm just gonna just jump into it. Normally we do big fun YouTube intros, but this is kind of a crazy one. This is actually kind of insane. Like this is actually an insane thing. I know it kind of sounds like clickbait, but I promise it's not. I actually got tagged in something on Twitter. First off, normally when people tag me on things on Twitter, it's kind of silly. People are just like, oh, scooch, this guy mean to me in League of Legends, get him banned. And it's like, I can't do anything about half the things people tag me in. On top of that, half the things are just bad experiences and ranked. What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna run to Riot HQ? and be like, hey, Trindamir, this guy, this guy pissed off a dude who tagged me on Twitter. Normally, I can't do anything about it. And this time, obviously, I can't do anything about it. But it was something so shocking that I kind of want to talk about it because it's actually insane. A guy named Harbinger of Salt tagged me in an image where he was in a ranked game. He got paired up with a Yumi named Yovarlin, right? Yumi support. And in the chat, the Yumi wrote this. Best and cheapest high quality accounts, 50,000 blue essence accounts for 180 euro discount, blank, blank, blank. 10,000, blah, blah, blah. In a ranked game, all right? This is a ranked game. He was playing a ranked game. I looked the account up because I was like, maybe it was just like a, a draft game and he didn't notice. And this account, that Yumi, has been playing, only played intro bots until it was able to play ranked a day ago. And in a day, this account has... 23 games have been played on this account in ranked, bro. In ranked. So I'm just sitting there. I'm like, this is like, it would be mean for me to be like, oh, look, there's bots in ranked that are destroying the ranked experience, aka the only experience that Riot cares about. There's bots destroying it for people. It would have been mean for me to go, oh, this is definitely a bot. It could be a bad player. That's what I'm saying. It would be mean for me to say that, and this just turns out to be a bad player. But then we look over here, look at the KDs. First off, look at the win rate. 22% win rate has played 23 games. It wasn't a live game a second ago, right before I started stream. Yumi, 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 Soraka, Yumi, Yumi, Tarek, right? And when you look at this, right, it has 23 games in a single day. It has a very negative KDA in every single game. 0, 04, 0, 05, 0, 05, 0, 04, 0, 03, 0, 04. This account literally doesn't do anything except build the exact same build. Look, it's rushing mobile boots. So what I did was I went into League of Legends itself and I was like, there's no way this is a real thing that I'm staring at. And look at this account. Also, real quick, I do want to say, this account's bronze too, so that's insane. Watch the Yumi. Watch how the Yumi plays, okay? Yumi stands there. Right? Stuck to the vein. Now, watch how this account plays. Vein comes in. Vein starts farming. Vein goes in for harass. Nothing really pops off here. Vein gets uh, beat up. Yumi just presses E. Don't forget that the Yumi also has PTA. You guys can't see it, but the Yumi is also running PTA for some reason. Never changed runes, never did anything to actually look like it's a valid player. Just ran PTA. And look, Vein's fighting, Vein's fighting, Vein's fighting. Yumi just spamming E. That's all the Yumi does is press E whenever E's up so that it doesn't get AFK'd. It doesn't get removed for being a bot. There's a fight that happens here. Yumi heals. Look at this. Vayne goes in, tries to get a kill. Yumi doesn't use any abilities at all. Doesn't use the exhaust. You, If you look at the pings, the Vayne is pinging that the Yumi didn't use the exhaust. Now look what the Yumi does. Ready? Check this out. That. That right there is exactly what AI does. The second the AI doesn't detect it's in a threat, it immediately starts backing when it needs to back. So I'm just, I'm just shocked because this account has played 23, 23 games in one day. In one day, this account has gone 20% win rate, 23 games, and it is still out there. And apparently, after this guy talked about it, he told me this is a thing that he goes through. It's genuinely, look, the Yumi runs back to the vein. If you watch this entire game, literally all the Yumi does is stick onto somebody and that's it. It's a bot account that is just trying to sell Smurfs. But here's the thing. When I was in London, and here's where I start talking about like my own experience. When I was in London, I had to level an account to 30. So I leveled an account to 30 by playing bot games and every bot game I played, there was one or two bot accounts in it because it's just Smurf sites trying to level up these accounts to 30 so that they could sell them. If you go to a Smurf website right now, the most expensive accounts you can buy right now at this second, right here, when you look at this website, right, you can buy an account, eight bucks, six bucks, 12 bucks. And then right here, the expensive one is hand leveled, right? And that's because when you hand level an account, it's not going to get marked for being a bot. So it's more expensive because it takes actual work to hand level an account, right? What's crazy is that bots have already taken over a lot, you know what I mean? Bots have been a big problem in bot games, but nobody's gonna report bots in bot games because who the hell cares? It's a bot game. Uh, my entire time playing in EU West
best. There was a bot in every single bot game I played to level my account to 30, but it is actually insane to me that now bots are starting to leak into ranked games and they're able literally int for 30, 40 games in a row without being banned. Like how has this account not been banned yet? 23 games in one day, 20% win rate going 02, 04, 08. I guess it's because when you use Yumi, it's hard to detect whether or not it's a bot because technically Yumi is always doing something, but it's like, it's crazy to me. It's absolutely insane. It's insane. Look, the Yumi never uses exhaust at all. Doesn't use her Q at all. Doesn't use anything. In fact, let's take a look at damage dealt by Yumi this game. Why don't we take a look? It was it this one. Boom. Let's take a look at the damage dealt by this Yumi. Damage dealt 170. How? How did she, did she accidentally misclick? She dealt 170 damage, Yumi did. It's very clearly a bot with 23 ranked games. Inting, 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 inting. And it's just okay. Like, I get that Riot doesn't care about norms, right? I get that Riot doesn't care about bot games, but it's starting to leak into the one thing that Riot cares about. Maybe it's just a new player. No, because a new player would press the Q button. The, a new player would press Q one time. It's true. Believe it or not, a new player would at one point try pressing Q. That Yumi, I watched that game, did not press Q one time, did not ultimate move one time, just went on top of Vayne, W'd, pressed E when the Vayne got low, and then pressed heal when she got lower as well. Maybe it's just a new player, right? Maybe it is just a new player. Maybe you're absolutely right, and it's just a new player playing that game. Because I remember, like, when I first started playing League of Legends, I didn't really know what all the champions did. Um, But my friend told me that, like, the easiest way to win a game is when you get into a champion select, you type in the exact phrase, best and cheapest high-quality accounts, 50,000 blue essence accounts for 180 euro sh I remember like when I first started, I was a new player and I remember typing that exact phrase. Like it's just bots are now going into ranked and destroying ranked and Riot is still not doing anything about it. Like, come on. You want to look at the Soraka games? I'm imagining what they do in the Soraka and Terret games, which their KDs get even worse on, by the way, is uh, they just press W or they just press the heal. In this Terret game, he went 0-9 and 0 with Electric U and then Exhaust Heal. Let's take a look-see. And they're inting. Like, it's not a new player. It's, a, it's an account getting into games and saying buy smurfs here and then being a bot for over 20 games like there's this thing that people always say and it's like you're not gonna get banned in league of legends unless you say one of the no no words like it's the truth did i send a ticket no i didn't send a ticket why would i send a ticket and i'm sure this account has been reported it has played 23 games today i am sure every single person on the team with the bot has reported it why wouldn't they why would they not report Report the bot. I am sure every single person has reported it. 23 games in a single day, in one day. 23 games, four reports per game. You shouldn't have to. That's the point. Exactly, dude. Like, that's what's crazy. What's crazy is this has destroyed the game state for 92 different people who has played with this bot account. 92 people have had a terrible game and still no report. This Yumi is still locking in and still no ban. It's just insane. Let's watch how the Tarek plays. Let's take a look. It's like the bot is coded to play like Yumi. Look, the Tarek literally magnetizes as if, it's, as if it's Yumi. It just magnetizes towards the Caitlyn. It's it literally like the bot is coded to just right click this champion. That's all it does. 23 games, dude. Holy sh 23 games. This has been happening for 23 games. If you guys want to have fun, the account's name is Y-O-V-A-R-L-E-N. Yo, Varlin. I, like, I'm gonna check, or I'm gonna at least have someone check. Like, one of you guys, can you keep an eye on this account and see how many games it can get away with doing this? 
I get it. Nobody cares about the casual modes. I get it. Nobody cares about blind pick. But this is the one mode that Riot cares about. And it has been a 24-hour period of this account playing game after game after game after game and griefing every single time. It's insane. It's genuinely bananas. It's randomizing its uh its runes as well. I guess all of the stuff that you're watching it do is so that it doesn't get detected by like a bot detector. Like whoever made this bot is pretty smart because it randomizes its runes every game, which is something that would probably throw a detector off its trail. Like it's probably just something to like scramble the bot, right? Or scramble the detection. Oh, wow. It was in game. It just was in a game. It was just in a game. 24 games this account has ruined. And keep in mind, guys, 24 games this account has ruined. If this account exists, then there's probably hundreds or thousands of these. If one account can get away with ruining 24 ranked games, imagine how many accounts this website alone has ruining ranked games. It's funny because it's like, it's kind of clickbait what I said. Oh, Yumi's ruining ranked games, but Yumi is like the only champion that you could do this on, which is why it always tries to get Yumi. And if it doesn't get Yumi, then it goes Tarek and Soraka. And you could tell if you're staring at it, you could tell if you're staring that that's a fucking bot, but the Yumi, you can't really tell. You could look at that Yumi gameplay and be like, maybe they're just bad. The Tarek, you can 100% tell. Nobody walks like this in League of Legends. Nobody sees the ADC and just and just stands there. It's just insane. Riot doesn't care about bronze that much. It doesn't matter if they care about bronze. If someone was upset enough to tag me on Twitter and then tell me in DM like, yo, just a quick FYI, this happens in my games a lot. Imagine how many people are going to stop playing League of Legends. It might not be that much. They might only lose 100 or 200 players from this. Shit. But it's like, why would you not stop that? How has it not been? I guess that's the big thing. The big crazy inquiry I have here is how has it not been detected? That's what's shocking to me. That's what's blowing me away. 24 games where I guarantee everyone is reporting it. How has it not been banned yet? This account got hand leveled until it could play ranked. They played bot games. Yeah, I saw that. It's bot KDA was really good when it was going against bots. I always like, I'm a huge advocate for like, we got to get rid of Smurfs, like period. It's so bad for the game. Like it's so bad that Smurfs exist. Everything about Smurfs pisses me off. I don't like everything from challenger player going against bronze. Look at how good a Sona challenger can be in bronze as a mid laner. Like, I hate that. I hate that Smurfs allow people to have extra accounts to just int on when they don't feel good about their main accounts. I hate everything about Smurfs, okay? I don't need to get too far into it. I hate everything about Smurfs. And this is indirectly 100% tied to the Smurfing. It is. No matter which way you want to slice the fruit, no matter which way you want to do it, the only reason this is possible is because there is a market for Smurfs right now that Riot needs to do something about, but they're not doing anything about it. And if anything, if anything, Riot should really do something about it because now oh no there's bots in nexus blitz nobody gives a shit. oh no there's bots in aram nobody gives a shit. oh no there's bots in bot games nobody cares blind pick nobody cares this is the one thing this is the one thing Riot's supposed to care about. The one thing Riot is supposed to care about is ranked. They balance for ranked. They release rewards for ranked. They structure everything for ranked. If the bots are starting to fuck up the ranked experience for real people, then they got to do something about it. That's just the truth. And real quick, because it's like, you know, it's, it's a bad thing. But real quick, a while ago, I asked, I was like, how many games do you think you can get away with inting before Riot notices that you're inting and then does something about it? How many games do you think you can do it? And everyone was saying different things. Some people were like, you can only get away with five. You can only get away with 10 games. If you were actually inting, you can only get away with 10 games before Riot will ban you. This account is nearly at 25 games in one day, in one day where it has inted. And while inting posted by Smurfs here, they need to do something about it. But here's the saddest thing. If this is a bot, that means it's everywhere. A bot, that's just a program. If I talk to the right people, I could run this shit. You could run this shit. Hundreds of you in the chat, multiple instances of League of Legends running bots. It's like if one account can do it, hundreds can. So they got to figure something out. It's pretty depressing. I'll be honest. I am not bronze, right? I haven't been since like season two, but it's like, this is destroying the game for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly what Jordan said. If you're one of the people who's like, oh, the report system's not that bad. The report system actually works. Just take a look. Just take a look. Reporting works in League of Legends. Just take a look. Take a look. It sure does, huh? Oh, wait, there's a show more button. 
porting works. That's the only reason I'm even talking about this shit, because it, like there should be attention on it. People should be talking about this. You know, like they should. This is bad. This is very bad. <laughs> this is the one game mode that Riot cares about. This is it. This is the mode. They don't care about anything else. They care about ranked. And there is something actively f***ing up ranked right now. Sure, it's only the bronzies, but they're an entire portion of your community. Do something about it because you're ruining the experience for people who might, like business side of things, might spend hundreds on skins or not business side of things people who want to enjoy your game do something about it um but do let me know guys number one easiest one how would you fix it if you had an idea on how to fix it because honestly they just need to come up with better detection but i don't even know how they'd go about that and then number two this is a very weird question and you don't have to answer it if you don't want to but how many games do you think you can get away with inting before your account gets banned and now here's another one and i and this is going to be completely i'm not going to share anything or anything but if you shoot me a dm over on twitter.com slash scooch lol if you shoot me a dm and if you are an inter or if you've inted before please let me know about your experience of how many times you got away with it i'm never going to this is going to stay between us but i really want to know the numbers you know what i mean i've always wanted to talk to somebody who target ints or ints games just to know how much they get away with Again, it's, it's going to be a completely anonymous thing. You can even make a burner account, but DM me on twitter.com slash scoochlol and let me know how many games you've inted because I just want to know. I think it would make a very interesting video to talk about inting in general.